I want to talk about Project Drive Safer now, TMJ4's year-long effort to combat reckless driving. Every Wednesday, we talk about traffic safety tips of the week. And with all kids heading back to the classroom next week, we want to talk about back-to-school safety. So I spoke with parents and bus drivers about their message to other drivers out on the roadways to make this a safe school year for kiddos. We're professional drivers, and it puts a lot of responsibility on us to make sure that we get our precious cargo to school. It's that time of year when Johnson School Bus driver James Boldock prepares for his new group of students. As a driver for more than a decade, he knows how important safety is in his position. I will be checking traffic in the back and the front and the right with my hand on the horn, if I feel that it's safe to do so, I will wave you across. And that's why he's pleading with other drivers to watch out for buses, because he says he sees it all the time. Distracted drivers not stopping for the flashing red lights or stop arm. And so we have to watch out, because we are the professional driver, for other drivers and how they react to the school bus. Uh, we hope that they understand the rules and regulations, but that doesn't seem to take place all the time. According to Wisconsin law, all drivers must stop for a school bus at least 20 feet away when the flashing red lights are on or a stop arm is out. This applies to traffic in both directions unless there is a divided highway with the center median. Vehicles must stay stopped until the driver turns off their red lights. When we're driving the school bus, we have not only our kids, but it's your kids and this pressure cargo is so important to us. And over at First Student in Milwaukee, their drivers say they've also seen these laws ignored. If you see the lights coming on, you should anticipate that a bus is approaching a bus stop and that there are going to be children around. Billy Krause, the area safety manager, says the number one thing their drivers experience out on the roadway is inattentive driving from others. Unpredictability in the other vehicles. Uh, you, know, you never really know what somebody in another vehicle is thinking. And that's why during the summer months before the kids head back to school. Every time we come to an intersection, we got to check our mirrors, make sure there's no oncoming traffic. Their drivers were preparing to make sure their routes were as safe as possible. So right now our drivers are getting ready. They are doing dry runs. So what they do is they go out on their route. They report to me if there's a dead end street, if there's a street that's an unsafe stop, if there's a place where um, they can find a safer location to drop those students off. And while some schools are already in session, some parents say a concern of theirs is speeding in school zones. So I'm here out on the corner of Center Street and Richard Street, and this is technically a school zone. But so far since I've been here, I've seen drivers speed through this area. It's like flying through here. They fly through here. Some will go the um, average speed. Overall, both parents and bus drivers want the same thing for drivers to pay attention in school zones and make this a safe school year. I just wish that drivers would really slow down because this is a is a school zone. We want to make sure that our kiddos are getting to school safely. Yeah, and that's so important just to make sure that the kids get to school and from school safely. So slow down in those school zones. Another tip for kids that are maybe walking to school, walking groups, make yourself as visible as possible. Stay on the sidewalk and only cross at crosswalks. We want to make sure the kids have a really safe school year.